Hello everyone. We will continue the topic SAP memory and ABAP memory. And in the previous video, we started with the practical part of SAP memory. We took a requirement based upon that we have written the logic. Now the most important thing is we have written the logic for set. But where is get? Because without get, how how the value is coming into VA03 transaction code? Because VA03 is SAP own transaction code. It means SAP has written the logic to get the or to get the so SAP has written the logic to get the values from this particular memory ID. So we will understand in the debugging mode. And so many important points will be covered. Suppose I will put a breakpoint. I will just run this. I am going for input. Suppose I will go for 171. Because this sales order number do not have any error. I am clicking on to the sales order number 171. User command will trigger. And desktop 3, most preferable desktop. Now you can see this is the value 171. We are setting this value into this memory ID, to this SAP memory ID. I am simply executing this. I am doing F6. It means when this statement executed, 171 is set, 171 passed into this memory ID. How I can check the values? If I will double click onto this memory ID, you all know memory ID are not treating as variables. So if you double click, you will not be able to see the value of memory ID. In the debugging playlist, I fully, fully explained how, how you can check the values of memory IDs in the debugging mode. So now we will do the same thing here. We have a button here. New tool or you can go for replace tool. Suppose I am going for new tool. I will go for special tools. I will go for system areas internal only. Now I will simply go up. You can see. We have SMEM, SAP memory, set parameter, get parameter, SAP memory. I will double click. Now, if I will, if I will show you, you can see we are not able to see our memory ID. So you can simply click here, one page down, one page down, page down, page down. And you can see we will be able to see our memory ID. I'll just show you. We can see, okay, I'll just scroll up. You can see A, U, N, and what is the value? 171. It means into this memory ID, the value is 171 into this parameter ID. Now, we are calling VA03 transaction code. It means now we need to check into VA03 because SAP has to get this particular value. So how I will do? I will simply do F5 so that I will enter into VA03 code. This is the code of VA03 transaction code. Now it is very difficult to find where SAP has written the logic for get parameter ID. So what you all know, you can put the breakpoint on the statement. Suppose select is a statement, call function is a statement. We can put the breakpoint on the keywords itself. So we'll simply use that particular feature. So what I will do, I will simply, simply go for breakpoints, breakpoint at statement. And you all know what is the way, what is the keyword to get for get parameter, the get parameter, set parameter, get parameter. I will simply put enter. So SAP will automatically stop where we have the get parameter statement or get parameter keyword. I will do F2. Is this your memory ID? No. AUN is our memory ID. I am doing F8. 
VAM. This is not our memory ID. I am doing FA. This is not our memory ID. Now you can see we have the memory ID. Get parameter ID AUN field VBAK VBELN. So what this statement will do? It will simply take the value from this memory ID. In this memory ID, what is the value? AUN. And it will pass to this particular field. If I will double click, you can see VBAK VBELN blank as of now. I'll just show you. You can see VBAK VBELN blank as of now. Whenever it will execute, I am doing F6. From the memory ID value passed to this particular field. Now you can easily, easily relate. It means this 171, this 171 is this field, is this field, is this screen field. PA03, PA03. Now if you want to check the name of this VBAK, VBELN, how you will see, you all know. System, status. Because we all know how to design the screen. This is screen. And if I will show you screen painter, the name is VBAK, VBELN. I will go to layout. Now you will be able to see the name VBAK, VBELN. And what is the value we are passing? 117. If I will double click here, you can see this is the VBAK, VBELN. And what is the value we are passing? 117. So this is the whole process how SAP works. I am deleting all the breakpoints because I showed you. Now you can see we are able to see 171. Yes. Anyways, we skip the first screen. So we are on to the inner screen. So we are able to do that. Now, most important part, SAP memory is a global memory. It means if I will go for other sessions, if suppose I will open VA03 in another session, I will be able to see 171 value. Suppose I'm going to VA03 transaction code. In VA03, SAP has written the logic for get parameter ID. It means we already set the value. So whenever SAP will run this VA03, have you seen? We are able to see 171. So you can see the values, but we set the value, but we are able to see the value across all the session because SAP memory is not limited to one session. It belongs to all the session. So whatever the session SAP is using this memory ID, SAP is getting this memory ID, we will be able to see 171. Suppose I will go for VA02. Now you can see in this VA02 also, I am getting 171. It means in VA02 also, SAP is getting this particular memory ID. So this is the whole concept because SAP memory is not restricted to one session. It is across, yes, because once you will set wherever we have the get logic, we will get this. Now the question comes into everyone's mind. You set we get, do we need to free this memory ID? Yes, it is always the best practice. You should always, always clear the value from the memory ID. So how we will clear? Suppose once we set get, we will clear after that. So how we will clear? I'll simply write the logic. Set parameter ID. What is the parameter ID? AUN field and I will pass the blank value or you can simply simply write space also it is totally your wish so we are setting this parameter id with space value so that is because our task is done we have we you customer is clicking we navigated whenever the customer will back we we'll simply simply clear this memory id parameter id I will activate and show this is also important point and I will show you after that. 
we will not be able to see. I'll just close this. Suppose I will put a breakpoint here. I'm running this. I'm going for 171. So 171 set into the parameter ID, AUN, and we are able to see. Whenever we will go for that. Now at this point of time, it is set. It is set. So if I will go to VA03, you can see 171. If I will go to VA02, 171, because the value is set into the parameter ID. Now what I will do, I'm going to back button. Now, whenever I will go to back button, we are clearing the C as of now. If I will show you the memory ID, you can see SAP memory, page down, we have the memory ID value. Memory ID value is our 171. AUN, where is AUN? This is AUN is 171. Now we are setting it to space. Suppose I am setting it to space. Have you seen this memory ID cleared? I am doing F8. Now there is nothing into the memory ID. Suppose I am going for VA02 now. You can see 171 is not there. Because get parameter ID will not give you anything. So parameter ID nothing. There is no value in the parameter ID. Suppose I am going for VA02. Nothing. If I am going to VA03. Nothing. So this is how parameter ID works. Most important video. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, firstly, I showed you how SAP has written the logic of get parameter ID in VA03. It is very difficult to find. So you, have, you know you can put breakpoints on the statement. So put the breakpoint on get parameter and SAP will navigate you. SAP will automatically stop onto those statements. So you can check. And we are able to see that. Then after that, I showed you also in the screen, the name of the field is itself VBAKVBELN and we have the 171. Then I explained SAP memory is a global memory. We will be, it is not restricted to one session. So once you will set wherever we are getting from same memory ID, you will be able to see the value. So I showed you we are able to see the same value in VA02, VA03. We are opening in another session. Still we are able to see because the value is in the memory ID. After that I showed you, yes, if your task is done, you need to clear the memory ID also. So you can simply pass the value space to that memory ID. Then I showed you if I am going for other sessions, whenever because that logic will trigger. But there is nothing in the memory ID and the same important thing I showed you that how we can check the memory ID's value in the debugging. So that's it in this video. Thank you.